I'm the Doberman guy. Today I'm going to show you something that affects the Doberman in large scale. The DCM, also known as dilated cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy is a non-specific term meaning diseased heart muscle. In the Doberman, the disease is primary a genetic predisposition, not caused by other medical problems. The primary problem in Doberman DCM is within the heart muscle cell and an ability to contract normally which leads to abnormal function of the heart. To compensate for the poor contractile ability, the heart dilates increasing the chamber size, which in the early stages of the disease will improve output of the heart. At this time the disease is at an occult stage. However, with further progression of disease, there comes a time when further dilation of the heart no longer improves stroke volume but in fact leads to increasing pressure within the heart. This in turn causes a backup of blood in blood vessels in the lungs, causing fluid to leak out into the lungs, leading to heart breathing and eventually death. Another potential cause of death with Doberman DCM is arrhythmias. With the abnormal stretching of the heart, abnormalities can happen. Some of our benign nature, but malignant forms can also happen, leading to sudden death. In addition to a throughout physical examination of the heart, certain medical tests are needed to confirm a diagnosis of DCM and exclude other diseases. Radiographic imaging may reveal left ventricular and atrial enlargement and the presence of fluid in the lungs. An electrocardiogram may reveal atrial fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. An ultrasound of the heart using echocardiograph imaging is required for a definitive diagnosis of DCM. This test examines the size of the heart and the ability of the ventricular to contract. In the case of DCM, an echocardiograph will reveal an enlarged left ventricular and left atrial and low contraction ability. I believe that an older exam, a 24-hour ECG, it collects around 130,000 beats in 24 hours, is the best test one can perform to check for the risk of developing sudden death in a symptom-free dopamine. Once heart failure has occurred, treatment is symptomatic and palliative. Treatment for DCM is heavily focused on improving the heart's function and on treating the symptoms of congestive heart failure. Drugs may be used to enhance heart contraction and to slow down rapid beating, and diuretics may be used to control the accumulation of fluid in the lungs. Vasodilators, drugs that induce dilation of the blood vessels and help the heart pump blood more effectively, are also usually part of the therapy for DCM. All the photos in this video are from my female Doberman that died by sudden death in 2013, at just 5 years old. At that time, I also didn't know what DCM was. This video is a call for action to all Doberman owners, and since this disease is primarily a genetic predisposition, also to Doberman breeders to test their dogs before making more mistakes within the breed. To know more about DCM, contact your vet. I hope that you found this video informative. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.